margin because this is the critical factor now in Himachal. Less than 500 at the moment. There are seats. Five. BJP leading in two, Congress in three, in less than 500. So, so no, once again, so let's explain that to our viewers. Yes. Which essentially means if three of these Congress leads where the margin is less than 500, switch the other side, the Congress could potentially be down to 34. Less than 1,000, which is also interesting what happens here. Three. BJP leading in five, Congress in three. So what's happening is the BJP is also leading in a number of narrow seats. No, so that means the Congress so could potentially well come down to 34. Yes. The BJP can potentially get these three extra seats and go up then to 31. 30. Yeah. So that's one possibility. Less than 100, are there any which is less than 100? Yes, there is one, BJP. which the BJP is leading. So Congress can become 38 then. Yeah, so, so Congress can become 38. So you've got a very close contest, but at the moment it that would seem... That seat is Rampur. In Rampur, where the margin is less than 100 votes, you've got Kaul Singh uh, at 15,123 of the BJP, uh, trailing Nandalal at 15,218. Okay, let's look at some of the VVIPs because everyone wants to be a chief minister now. Who do you want to start with? You start on that side with Anil Sharma. Anil Sharma. Sukram Sun from Mandi is leading. Interesting. Joined the BJP. Remember, was once part of the Himachal Vikas Congress. He is leading. So, that's an interesting seat. Just, uh, back. Just one second. Okay. Uh, let's look at the chief minister Jairam candidates. Uh, Jairam Thakur. Jairam Thakur. Leading. And the party is doing very he's well won. in Mandi. Yeah, he's so he's won. already won. Jairam okay, so he still hope to become chief minister. Now the let's can come the to number. the two guys who could potentially become like a Gehlot Sachin pilot kind of situation That's if right. it comes to that. Yes. So you've got the Brahmin face Mukesh Agnihotri. Uh, he hopes to be chief minister. He and Sukhu don't get along particularly well. Yes. Uh, a lot of time was spent trying to keep these two camps together. He is leading. He's got 15,730 votes. He's the leader of the opposition. He's currently leading. And is it a good margin? Um, okay, so we'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, the other one is, is Sukhu. Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu. Brahmin, Brahmin factor. Okay, he's leading by a decent margin. He's got 18,796. What it means, both the chief ministerial candidates at the moment of the Congress are leading. So that battle, in a way, remains. Remain. Himachal has had only one be, Brahmin be one chief other minister thing you can so look far. At, Rajdi, which Shasta is, Kumar is the only Brahmin chief minister no. that Himachal has so had so far. So let's look at where the Thakur and the Brahmin seats are going at this moment. So in the Brahmin seats, uh, there are about 14 of these seats. The Congress leading on eight. They're winning. Uh, almost two-thirds of those seats, right? So BJP only on four. Let's now come to the Rajput seats. In the Rajput seats, 27 of those seats, so the Congress is doing well, both on the Brahman and it's a, it's a tough one. It's a tough one now for Malikarjun Karge to figure out how to resolve this. No, I, no, no, I, 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 look, Mukesh Agniyotri versus Sukhu is going to be a problem at some stage. You see, this is, the, this is what happened in Madhya Pradesh as well. That eventually individual ambitions brought down that government. They tried to sideline Sindhya and the rest is history. Here also the Congress's challenge is management. Now who's going to do that? You see the Bharat Jodo Yatra can't do that. That has to be done by some person. No, but the Priyanka wheel. Gandhi would have to do this. Priyanka Gandhi actually, because, yeah. you know, there will be, there are those around Priyanka Gandhi Vadra. And Rajiv Shukla is a blue-eyed boy of Priyanka. Priyanka Gandhi Vadra's people won't say this openly. But typically, there are those within the Congress who are privately saying, Priyanka Gandhi Vadra went and campaigned, we've done well. Please, this is how the party But operates. she hardly campaigned. Come on. Five rallies, uh, five rallies in one. Look at Amit Shah and Modi in Gujarat. Sir, you five know, rallies means what? No, no. Yeah, come on, this is a bit ridiculous. I'm five rallies, she doesn't get credit for the Congress's victory in Gujarat. She yeah. had a peripheral role to play. I, I will be very direct with you. Which is? How does the Gandhi, the Gandhis operate like I operate with exit polls? When we get it right, I take all the credit. When we get it wrong, I put it on Pradeep, uh, 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 our friend Pradeep Gupta. Similarly, in the Congress, when they win, the Gandhi family gets the credit. When they lose, you will blame the local leadership. The point that Preeti made, local leadership has worked. God forbid if they lose, all those local leaders will be told, you failed us. Not that the Gandhi family failed us, you failed us. That's how they were. No, but Rahul Gandhi never came to Himachal and they still no. did fine. Are wahi to hai, fir bhi kahenge. Bharat Jodo Yatra ne hum sab ko itna enthuse kiya tha. This is how the party works. I, you know, part, the Congress's party's biggest problem has been that they need to start getting No, the real... Congress's real problem, Rajdeep, is that pandits are more worried about the Congress than the Congress is itself. <laughs> no, it's Good true. point. 
It Good is point. true. I, you look I, at I, the I, manner in which the Congress I, fought the election in Gujarat. You look at how worried I, our pundits and other pundits have been about the Congress's fortune. The Congress wasn't worried about the Congress's fortune in Gujarat. Rahul Verma, when I ask you about the Congress, you have to ask me. I remember the last time because I think that, that was... No, 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 that's true. Uh, you, you are absolutely right about it. And, and, and in some ways, see, uh, at some point, Congress is like 19 or 18 or 17 seats.